Rim Country News brought to you by Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. Same stop, different horses since 1916. And by Terlucas and Brandt CPA PLLC, with a long history of providing quality CPA services right here in Rim Country. On this Tuesday, January 25th, for Tano TV, KRIM Radio News, and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson with your Rim Country News headlines. Well, Tano National Forest Fire Specialists have begun broadcast burns at two separate locations over on the Pleasant Valley Ranger District starting yesterday and running through this coming Friday the 28th. Fire specialists will burn 110 acres of vegetative debris piles in and around Nail Ranch. Residents and visitors to Nail Ranch can expect to see and smell light to moderate amounts of smoke during the five-day operation. Smoke will impact these two communities during the day. During the evening, smoke will affect Frog Pond and Nail Ranch, as well as the Q Ranch, that due to cold, inert winter air. Now, to minimize the impacts of smoke from each operation, fire specialists say that they will terminate ignitions by 3 p.m. each afternoon. Light to moderate smoke may linger near both operations through January 30th. The Forest Service says they'll post signs along roads that'll be affected by smoke. Officials urge motorists to use extreme caution while driving in these areas and to slow down for the safety of firefighters and the public. Now, the Forest Service uh, conducts these prescribed burns to reduce the buildup of hazardous fuels loads such as leaf litter, grasses, and shrubs to prevent the risk of catastrophic wildfire. Additionally, these burns restore natural ecological systems and uh, landscapes, and they also develop and foster sustainable forest conditions and wildlife habitat and watersheds. For more information on the, these or other burns, you can contact the Payson Ranger District, District Office at 928-474-7900. And in other news from around where you live, the Maricopa County Department of Transportation will be conducting a test of their new high friction surface treatment on the Bush Highway from mile marker 31 to mile marker 32 starting tomorrow, Wednesday the 26th, from 8 a.m. until noon. Crews will have flaggers and pilot cars directing traffic, so if you're heading down to the Bush Highway tomorrow, officials say please allow for a little extra time uh, for delays, obey traffic control signs, and drive slowly through the work zone. And finally, did you know a thing called Oyster shell is harming aspen trees up on top of the rim. Well, check out this video explaining why oyster shell is so damaging to native quake aspen stands throughout the Coconino up on top of the rim and beyond. Now, you can join researchers Amanda Grady and Kristen Waring as they speak about mitigation techniques to try to control the pest spread. This is actually um, oyster shell scale, which has been an urban pest in um, on several different types of hosts for many um, centuries in the U.S. And this pest has recently spread from the urban environment into native forest stands and is really causing a lot of impacts and tree mortality and decline associated with aspen, which is really rare and important in the Southwest. So these are just some of the examples of, of how um, oyster shell scale looks and they're these very tiny, small um, insects with piercing sucking mouth parts and they suck fluids from the cells below the, the thin bark and cause um, cell desiccation, mortality, tissue mortality, and eventually when populations become so large, eventually tree mortality as well. Hi, my name is Kristen Waring and I'm a professor of forestry at Northern Arizona University and I'm working on this Aspen project and we're trying to find solutions to deal with the oyster shell scale. And so over here we're trying a pre-commercial thin where some of the overstory are left and over here we're trying what's called a clear cell where none of the overstory are left and again we're just trying to find a solution to deal with this insect that's causing mortality. We also plan to try some prescribed burning in other areas of the landscape. Well, coming up in Rim Country weather, cooler temperatures are expected today with increasing cloudiness across eastern Arizona. A slight chance for a rain or snow shower comes in this evening, though most areas will remain dry. A complete report on your seven-day forecast is coming up next. You're watching Rim Country News. 
Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Jake's started out as an Arizona stage stop way back in 1916, and folks have been stopping here ever since. Jake's also has been famous as a popular stopping spot for travelers headed to Rim Country or Roosevelt Lake. But as more people discover this historic stop, more and more, it becomes the destination. It was even featured in the 2008 movie Jake's Corner and later featured at the Sedona Film Festival. Ice cold beers from the tap, imported or specialty beers, a generously stocked full bar and great food that keeps you wanting to come back again and again. Enjoy a game of pool inside or step out and enjoy the covered patio and outdoor bar with live entertainment and much more. We hope to see you soon at one of the most historic stopping spots in Arizona. Jake's Corner Bar and Grill. It's not just a bar, it's a destination. Hi, I'm Michael Dowling with the Old County Inn and Pinewood Tavern. So we've been using True Lucas and Brandt probably for the last four years. They've been really awesome to work with, um, Amy and Marguerite. They do everything now from pretty much all of our payroll needs, pay all of our taxes. They even help us uh, on Fridays to pick up our checks, which is great since they're local. But I pretty much use them for everything. They've been awesome to work with and they take off all the things I don't have to worry about as far as taxes go so I can concentrate on my business. But as for now, they're pretty much doing all of my personal taxes, all of our payroll needs, all of our business taxes, and very affordable and just awesome to work with. And they're local, so we really appreciate them and they've been a great partner with us so far. Well, taking a look now at your Rim Country seven day weather forecast, an upper level trough starts to dig down across the southwestern U.S. this afternoon. The trough itself doesn't appear to have a great deal of moisture associated with it as it crosses the region later this afternoon and evening, mainly with an increase in just sky cover. However, model guidance is indicating that there is still the potential for some light snowfall across uh, up on top of the Mugion Rim and over to the northeast, including portions of the White Mountains. So uh, you know, they've bumped up the possibilities up in those locations in the forecast to a little bit better reflect the chance for some snow or rain. Additionally, uh, gradient tightens up and the winds are going to be increasing uh, out of the northwest with gusts around 20 to 25 miles an hour behind the departing trough. We're going to see clearing skies and a slight cooling of temperatures. Now another system is going to be crossing the region and that comes in on Thursday, but it looks to be centered more to the northeast of our forecast area. So this should keep any potential showers of uh, in our region, uh, should keep them out of our region that is. But again, the gradient will tighten up and winds will increase as a result, becoming quite breezy. Ridging starts to increase on Friday through Saturday, but may be short lived as another system moves in from the west. Models are still pretty much all over the place with the uh, timing of any systems for the start of the next work week, but the trends continue to show that there may be a slight shift in the current weather pattern. We'll just have to keep an eye on it as it gets a little closer. Well, meanwhile, highs and lows around Rim Country today, they should be looking something like this. Up in Payson today, you can expect beautiful sunny skies with a few light breezes. Uh, that'll be coming in mainly this afternoon and a high warming up to near 53 degrees. Tonight, no real chance for rain in Payson, but it will be uh, mostly clear with a low down around 27. Up on top of the rim at Forest Lakes, a little different up there today. It'll be uh, sunny and a bit breezy with winds uh, gusting to 18 miles an hour and the high up on top of the rim today should be right around 45 degrees. Now tonight, there's that 30% chance for showers up on top of the rim, and that should come mainly before 11 p.m. It'll be partly cloudy with a low around 18 degrees, and with uh, west winds uh, picking up 7 to 11 miles an hour, becoming north after midnight, those winds could gust as high as 16 miles an hour, and uh, with those uh, really low temps, it's going to bring the wind chill factor way down there. New snow accumulations of less than a half inch are possible. Down south here in Tano Basin, where I come to you from today, well, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day with a high up near 63 degrees. And tonight, it'll be mostly clear with a low down around 35. And that's what's happening around Rim Country. For Tano TV, KRIM Radio News and Global Trails Media, I'm Randy Roberson. 
make it a terrific Tuesday.